Sandy beach filled with coconut trees. Paradise is here. Absolute paradise. We are at an island in Fiji called Falunga. It is deep in the southern edge of the country, down here in the Lao Island group. In effect, it's an island or an atoll in the middle of the ocean. We sailed here on a spinnaker run from the other side of Fiji and boy, we are blown away by the beauty of this place. It's rarely visited and off the beaten track, but those who come here will never forget it. As with any of the islands you visit in Fiji, you must first go and find the local village and ask for the chief's permission to enjoy their land, reef and water. Have a look at this dinghy ride. Tiny volcanic islands full of palm trees everywhere in this giant sandy lagoon. Going to our Seve Seve. So that's when you offer kava and ask permission to swim and fish and do whatever you like to do on the island. Bula bula! <laughs> bula bula! <laughs> As Mari said, presenting the chief with kava, the local drink, is called doing sevu sevu. <coughs> Once your sevu sevu is done, you are, as they say, part of the village, especially Kaya. I reckon they would keep her if they could. What are you making here? This uh, pendant leaves. This is what we use for living mats and baskets. <laughs> this is a weaving day, huh? Yeah. She'll lift you up. No wood lathes, Makita sanders or Ryobi drills here, mate. They still make it just the way Grandad did.
A custom here that is unique to Fulanga, the village gives you a host family, your point of contact should you need any help. This is the house of our host family, chosen for us as they have a little one as well. He's a pretty good sleeper apparently. Sevus ever done, it's time to explore this magical place. Something very special is happening here. What are we making, Kaya? Um, we're making... <laughs> it's a mermaid tail. Yeah, the mermaid, mermaid bread. bread. Yeah, a mermaid bread. Yep, a mermaid tail. We have a birthday coming up, the big three. Yep. Open this, like, go like this and open it. There was even a mermaid birthday party on what must be one of the most remote hey, beaches mermaid. in the world. Turn around, show me your tail. Wow. Over the coming weeks, we moved around exploring this vast, untouched wilderness, jaw dropping at every turn. Heard rumor of a secret lagoon. We're gonna go exploring. You ready, Cha Cha? Yeah. You ready, Mama? Yes. Got my gear on. You ready, Look Kaya? at this one. Yeah. You ready, Kaya? What about you, Pumpkin? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Ah. This beauty isn't confined to land. Underwater, it's a paradise. The coral and the sea life is extraordinary.
heroes out there, yes, this is a school of dog tooth tuna. What's in there? Yee. Dog to tuna. Wow. That is a delicious fish. Move. This guy. And coral trout. Oh boy. Coral trout. And a big parrotfish. Oh my god! Look at the size. Because I speared all these, Joel came along for a little bit, but he was going for the little ones. So, but mate, don't go for those little ones, you've got to go for these big ones, you've got to feed the family. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, lucky I was there today. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Joel from this way up is basically a fish himself. At this stage, I'm still mostly watching and learning. Okay, so there's a little party going on today. Uh, one of the boats that we're really good friends with, it's her birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you! Uh, but we are going to try and arrive in style. This is actually happen happening. Right, ready to launch? Ready to launch. We've come to realize that as beautiful as this place is, as stunning as Fiji can be, what's really made it incredible is the people we've met along the way, the boats that we are sharing these adventures with. We are united by our struggles and our sacrifices to get here. Everyone acutely aware of what a special time of life this is. If only for a moment, we've dodged the rat race and our most precious commodity, time, is being spent in the best way possible. <laughs> 